Hi folks, it's Peter again. Welcome to another episode of Beyond Cane Pole. Today there will be no fishing going on. I'm not beside the water, but I'm at a very interesting outdoors event called Palmetto Sportsman's Classic. It happens every year around this time in South Carolina, held up at the state fairgrounds. I'm going to get my own camera assistant to, pa to pan around. Um, we're using a different mount for the um, camera for traveling. I'm going to see how it works. But she can just look around real quick and show you we just walked in the entrance. As we look around, we're seeing examples of things for sales. It's a lot of um, vendors and merchandise and stuff. You can actually buy stuff up here. Um, I'm going to record what I can and what I can't. Well, just let it get recorded. All right. Walking into the building, as is, you can see, it's set up similar to craft shows I do, but it's all sports and stuff. Now, I'm not going to necessarily record any particular um, thing, but this is actually a brand new building here at the program. We'll see how it goes. Okay, that first building had nothing but guides and hunting stuff and clothing and stuff for sale, but they're connected, so we're walking through to the next building. And honestly, folks, this booth right here is one of the reasons to come to this show. Now, it doesn't have holes generally like I normally use, but their stuff is usually good price, and you can get discount stuff at home. Now, you did have to pay to get in, so you have to kind of figure that in as, the, uh, as part of it. But this is a good, good booth to look at. All right. So last building we were in, I showed you like the booths that I own. I like to visit. Usually has stuff on sale. There's another guy in that same building, has pretty much similar stuff, and had it on sale. So um, I bought a little bit. Wallet's a little lighter, bag's a little heavier. At any rate, we're still moving on and going between the buildings. They've got ATVs and there's three, there's three wheels and or six wheels and eight wheelers and stuff. And if you look, there's some crappy poles up ahead. Might go through the trailer. I don't know. What do you think? If you want to. Let me look at these crappy bowls real quick. Okay, this is the building where you're going to meet stars and stuff like that if they're here. And of course, there's still some merchandise salesmen. They're doing a bass presentation over there at the you know, fishing tub. We'll um, get a better view of that fishing tub, but I can't fall in front of it while they're doing a the demonstration. Anyway, this is the Sportsman Classic. Still enjoying things. Army Corps Engineers has got a booth. We're going to keep looking. We'll get back with you in a little bit. Thank you. 
Fishing boats, boat fishing boats, tractors, tractors, four wheelers. Looking at earlier, I had a three wheeled motorcycle type vehicle. Um, look good. All kind of stuff to tempt you and spend your money on. Of course, if you're wanting some shore lunch, I got all sorts of things for your gastronomic pleasure. Boiled peanut stand, even down yonder. Of course, there's a couple other things on the other side of here. I just thought I'd show you the food. We'll keep on walking and keep on seeing. The DNR even puts a little wading pool type thing out here. And oh, fish fell, fell on the ground. That's a stock full of catfish for kids to catch. Of course, you find, you know, frequently there are parents helping out. They have little poles over there, little, um, little poles and Give them bait with a bobber and all. And this little pond is just full of catfish. Oh, see? It gives kids a chance to catch their first fish or even gives them something to do for those that this is not a first. Um, one year, they had, a few years, they've had trout in this. I think they switched to catfish because it's a little warmer usually when they have it and catfish survive a little better. And this building is probably going to be all the DNR and other other stuff information. If you look around, invasive booths, their recovery booth, marine resources. And they even have a little play, play thing for kids. And game wardens walking around shaking hands and all that. Alright, there's going to be a few interesting things in here. Like they do a fish art. Contest for the kids. And I'm not going to zoom in on anybody's particular art, but it's the SC Real Art. And they used to have a program, and they may still do, called SC Real Kids, where you had to actually submit the art. But if you did all the things or all the steps, you ended up getting a free fishing license at 16. And here's one of the hatchery containers right there. You let the fish out through that. And land and water conservation and my lovely wife. And there's scavenger hunts going on and stuff for kids. Not just the fishing. So this is a good place to bring kids. There's going to be a place where they're building lures. I'll show that shortly. Alright, and here they have fisherman therapy going on. A table where you make your own lures. They give you a lure and you kind of color it and paint it. Pretty good therapy. That's a mudfish. That's a mudfish. That's a mudfish. Mud mud yeah. <laughs> I've caught enough of them. I know. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. They're primarily freshwater. They're primarily freshwater. Really? They, they're similar in look to a snakehead. They get confused for snakeheads a lot where snakeheads are. Uh -huh. But you, if you ever see the two side by side, you can tell the difference. Oh yeah. On oh, they fight like all oh, get out. Oh, they they fun. To look catch. like um. A snakehead, like if you find the snakeheads down in Florida, oh, okay. they look and inhabit much the same same area. And what is the one right here? That? That's a bluegill. Bluegill? Oh. I started to say that, but I wasn't sure. That's crappy. And there's a large mouth and a striper. That's the, 
Yeah. And a gar. They didn't look exactly like that. They, you know what? I fish two separate ponds, and the bluegill have two separate colorations in the ponds. Uh -huh. Here's the boat thing right there. We got a place on the roof about a canal. Uh huh. The king's on the show. Okay, I took a few pictures of some of the stuff here that just shows you what you can do to recycle. And all you have to do is just be willing to do it. And they also do antler scoring. Okay, folks, that was it for the Palmetto Sportsman's Classic. Um, hope it gave you a feel for what we've been experiencing and looking at today. I didn't record everything. There was a primitive guy who was flint napping and kind of didn't want pictures and stuff taken. But, you know, it's a good thing to come up here and enjoy and visit, walk around, and spend a day. Now, the thing is, it's $8 to get in and $5 parking. Parking is charged by the fairgrounds, not the um, event. I think that's a little bit of a ripoff, but you know, I don't mind paying eight dollars a person to get in. I think it's cheaper for kids and stuff like that. Um, yeah, we enjoyed the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Okay, we got home. Let me widen that out a little bit for you. We got home and I decided to show you all all the things I got. I got 14 or more bags of Zoom worms at a dollar a piece. Um, got some free little um, trash bag holders that can clip to your belt or clip to your boat and all this, these little blue things over there. Um, got a book, Guide to Freshwater Fishes. Don't need it, but in you know, South Carolina, but you know, I might run into somebody who does. Got some little Rapalas for $2 a piece and got some frog gigs for $2 a piece. Um, frog gigs are possibly for an emergency kit or you know just to have on hand um, I've given some away and I didn't have any left all right thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it if you have something like the um sports and classic near you it might be a good thing to go check out I will say the amount of good merchandise like the cheap worms and stuff like that has gotten less and less over the years but still some good deals to be had all right thank you for watching